Diversity, equity, and inclusion work is ever shifting. It's growing and responding to the human beings that are at the center of this work. It's challenging for DEI leaders and it's a beautiful space to work in. Hi, my name is Sienna Carrillo Walker Flom. My pronouns are she, her, and I'm the Diversity, Equity, and Inclusion Program Manager at Ribbon Home. I'm here to share a few tips with you on what to look out for as you join a new company as a DEI leader. The first tip I have for you is around budget. You want to ensure that there is a diversity, equity, and inclusion budget, either that's been planned for you or demonstration of one that's existed in the past. And this is a question that you can ask during the interview process. By having a budget created, it demonstrates that there is a true sustainable commitment to this work that goes beyond being performative. This also avoids a situation where you continually have to regain buy-in every time you have a new project. It also empowers you to build out new initiatives that are well resourced. The second tip I have for you is around leadership buy-in and this is another question that you can ask during the interview process. Ideally during your interview you'll be meeting with C-suite level leaders to really gain understanding about what their current commitment looks like to DEI work, what their approach is, and what their philosophy is. If you don't have buy-in from leadership it can be incredibly difficult to move DEI work forward in a sustainable way. If you don't have current buy-in from leadership but you're still really excited about joining this Company, as long as they're humble, they're curious, and they're open to learning what DEI culture means for their team and their business, you're off to a good start. The third and final tip I have for you is once you join a new company, identify who your DEI champions are inside of the organization. So before you got there, there are plenty of folks who have been doing elements of DEI work across the organization, on their team, within their department, and across the company. They are ERG leaders. They are DEI committee members. They're individuals who are working to build inclusive culture on their teams. It's important to identify these people, learn from them, appreciate their work, and partner with them as you build on the foundation that they've built. I hope that these tips have been supportive for you as you enter into your DEI journey and best of luck to you as you join that company that is there to support your work and truly champion principles of diversity, equity, and inclusion.